Hello and welcome to the Scar Night Magazine vodcast. This month we thought it'd be fun to show you how we produce the review section of the magazine. The process takes many weeks and it all starts in the office where the reviews are planned. Once we've decided what equipment to review, it's then sent out to our expert reviewers who'll put it through its paces looking at how it performs under the stars. Here's our reviews editor testing telescopes under somewhat challenging conditions. Once the reviewers have given the equipment a thorough testing, it's sent back to the Scart Night magazine offices for the next part of its journey. That next stop is a specialist photo studio, where the equipment is set up and photographed by a professional photographer with the help of the art editor and other members of the editorial team. This month we're shooting pictures of four equatorial mounts and a huge 14-inch topsonium. I am setting up the opening group test shop and also the um, opener for the entire review section. At the moment though, we are just setting up for uh, positioning purposes. So after this, after we get the composition right of the uh, mounts, then we'll start working on lighting, um, darkening the whole room, and um, yeah, then we'll shoot it uh, for real. Great, so we've got four equatorial mounts here. Now over here, Chris, you're setting up another telescope. What are you doing over here? Hi, Willie. Yes, well, I'm just uh, setting up the um, Orion 14 inch um, telescope uh, Dobsonian. It's a bit of a beast, isn't it? There's a lot of technical gadgetry going on. It there. certainly is. I mean, it's got, um, it's, it's, a, it's quite a unique um, Dobsonian because it's got these um, electronic encoders on each axis, which um, it's a kind of push to telescope. So you, right. um, it tells you how far to move the scope. When, when you're directing it around the sky, which is rather unique. It's got this hand control here. Um, it's taken, I mean, obviously, uh, it's taken me an hour and a half to set up, but um, it's got these rather nice uh, captive release bolts, so you can actually take it apart really easily, and it won't take you so long to put it back up again. Setting up usually takes the most time, as usually all the equipment has to be built from scratch. In the case of the big Dobsonian that Chris is setting up for this shoot, this means a lot of work with screwdrivers and, of course, the manual. Well, I'm now just putting the final touches to the um, Orion SkyQuest 14-inch uh, Dobsonian. Um, just fitting the finder scope into its bracket. You're going to put it on, and that's it done. Then um, it was uh, quite a challenge to put together for the first time, but there is a um, full instruction manual and um, really good diagram. So. Although it was, took a long time, none of it was uh, baffling, shall we say. And it's a lovely looking scope when it's finished. It really does look good and it moves really smoothly on its axes. Beautiful scope. Um, just wish we were going to look through it. Once everything has been set up, the photographer can then go to work adjusting the camera systems, flashes and other equipment needed to start taking the images. Steve, our art editor, can then ask for specific shots with places for each image in mind for the magazine. Sometimes, special light washes need to be taken to create the fancy lighting effects you sometimes see on the pages. Once the images have been taken and the art editor is happy, everything is packed up and we head back to the office for the next part of the process. This is it, shoot's all done and it's all here on the pen drive, so now it's back to the office to sort it all out for you guys. OK, so we're back in the office now, and I'm here with our editor, Steve. Steve, what are you doing to the images now? Uh, well, uh, before I can even lay them out on the page, I first need to remove the background from each one of the photos. Um, although it may look white to the naked eye, there's a lot of really tiny imperfections that need to be uh, taken out. Uh, so to do that, it's quite a painstaking process of actually cutting around the entire shape. And as you can imagine with telescopes, sometimes these shapes are incredibly complex. Mm. So um, yeah, it takes a while, but it's um, it's all worth it in the end. It looks really good when it goes to print, uh, doing it like this. So uh, as soon as I've done this one, there's about another 30 or so to do, and then all done. Excellent. Well, you better get on with it. Thanks. Once Steve has worked his magic on the images, they're laid into the document to await the text. Then it's over to the production editor and editor for final checking to make sure it reads well and before long it joins the rest of the magazine pages being printed at the printer. So that's how we do it. Next time you pick up a copy of the magazine you'll know exactly what goes into creating the review section. <laughs>